Hey, Kate LeBreton, good morning. I'm here with Team USA's Ashley Farkerson. Ashley, thanks so much for joining me in the booth today. She'll be commentating the men's singles race. Ashley, you slid this hard, fast ice. We were just talking about the weather, the endless conversation in sliding sports. So we were talking about how it's a balmy negative eight Celsius. How do you think that's gonna affect the race today? Um, I think it gives a lot of these men a better chance of making their runs clean and even faster down the track. The harder the ice gets, the less grip you have with your sled, so any small mistake or error entering and exiting curves will cost you big time. So having a little bit softer ice, as weird as it sounds, is going to yeah. help a lot. <laughs> so, you know, the last time the men trained was two days ago, and that's when the, it was extra cold. So do you yeah. think anyone would be changing their mind on a setup you know does it do, do those like six degrees celsius make a difference as you're looking for your setup or is cold does cold equal cold <laughs> yeah uh if we were talking about a 20 degree difference right. people might be second guessing themselves but when you start dropping below <laughs> into the negatives and yeah. single digits it's definitely more like a cold is cold and you're I mean, I think there it's going to be a little bit easier than it was on Friday, and some of them might be breathing a sigh of relief, but I don't yeah. think any setups are going to change. Or at least maybe it won't sting as bad. It won't be <laughs> physically <laughs> painful. The suits can only be so thick and aerodynamic. Uh, well, we've already got a big crowd out here, and the spectators certainly don't mind the cold. So taking a look at our start list here, Ashley, who really stood out to you in training this week? I think that... Um, Dominic Fischnaller is on a really good track. He had the fastest mm. time in Cita training, and he is just such a consistent slider, and he really knows how to put a race together. So we're definitely going to be looking for him, as well as Christer's upper yotes. Oh, it's his right. Home track. And I think that he has a really good sh shot of making the podium or definitely being in medal contention. I mean, he has so many runs here, and it's like home track advantage. Yeah. On a difficult track like this, it's a big deal. Yeah, we um, saw that yesterday with uh, two incredible uh, home track <laughs> records. And so I noticed prior to the race, the races this weekend that none of the track records were held by any Latvians. So mm -hmm. it was incredible watching their doubles, both doubles, men and women, take home the, the win and the track record yesterday. It was so nice. And Alina Vitola getting second yes. for the women. That was so, I was so happy. The temporary track yeah. record. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sure that the Latvians are thrilled about that. It's so nice to be able to succeed at home in front of like a home crowd. Right. And not to mention, we are back here next weekend for European championships. And so... <laughs> You know, I've been watching the weather every day because, you know, it's a little bit different. Now, when you're, thankfully, I'm not coaching. And so God bless all the coaches here who are standing out in this and radio, you guys. Um, so it looks like it's going to get quite a bit warmer, you know, like as warm as freezing, <laughs> you know, zero. So it, I'm assuming if that holds, you know, everyone's going to go into training next week and just adjust their setups a little bit. Um, are you looking forward to that or do you prefer this kind of ice? Man, I think last year I would have said I was looking forward to it, but I have actually felt very confident on the track this year for whatever reason. Yeah. <laughs> so I really liked the hard ice and like knowing that. Yeah, the great it, equalizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knowing that it's going to take skill to, mm -hmm. to win the race. To really like send it down twice very fast. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, on behalf of Ashley and myself, thanks so much for tuning in this morning. We just got our two-minute warning for the broadcast, so we are going to switch our mics over. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.